Hey folks! So I hear that you would like to clean the aquaculture tank here at East. That's what I'd like to hear! Before we go about doing that, I'd like to explain what each of these parts are, so that when I'm rattling these names off to you, you know what part I'm referring to. The big blue part to this is what we call the control tank. That's the main part where all of our fish are. Uh, as you look at the water, it might seem a little dark, and that's just based off of some of the coloration that comes from uh, the type of feed that we use, uh, which is a little bit more of a soy-based kind of meal. This is the feeder. Uh, we don't necessarily need to play around with that right now. On the right here, we've got a clarifier. That's where all of the solid poops come and just rest before it goes into, on the back side, a biofilter, where some of the bacteria then munch away at all of the nitrites and then turn them into nitrates. Below, we've got a little valve to release some of the water. That'll be important for us when we're cleaning the clarifier. And then what connects the two between the control tank and the clarifier is the siphon. Now you know! First things first, you're going to unclip two of these little red clips that hold the net above. Uh, that prevents all of the fish from escaping, because otherwise they're jumpers and they like to escape. Take these off, put them to the side, peel back the net. The next thing that you're going to do is take the siphon arm and break the siphon of the water. That's to prevent for more water to come on through. Pick it up, put it off to the side. The next step is to be able to drain the clarifier basin. So you're going to open up the little valve down below here and then refill and fill as many times as needed. You'll notice that the pail is not going to be enough to take all that's in the clarifier, so you're going to have to do about two or three trips uh, to truly empty that bit, basically. Once you have that water, you're going to take it to the floor drain right down below there and just pour it straight down the drain. The fish solids are dissolvable enough so that they will go through the, the septic system, so it will not cause anything to back up. We're starting to fall. Our next step is to be able to uh, take out the filters at the far end of the clarifier. Those need to be brought to the sink right behind you and washed out just under water. No soap, just completely rinse. Ew. Our next step is to take the squeegee from on the side of the clarifier and squeegee out all of the sides. This is to make sure that all of our bacteria is going out, because otherwise stagnant bacteria will lend to more advanced bacteria, and we want to break that cycle um, before we get something that we can't re really kick. As an additional level of cleaning, you've got a blue watering jug down below here that's filled with water. You'll use this to kind of spray down the outside, um, just to kind of loosen up any of the uh, poop that might be on the sides of the clarifier. Dump any of the remaining waste that you have inside there, and close that up. Make sure to replace the filters at the far end of the clarifier from inside your sink after you've rinsed them. Here they are. Again, no soap, just water. You'll see a five gallon blue pail of water that's sitting. Uh, that's dechlorinated water that we're gonna add into the clarifier to start our siphon back up again. Our aquaculture system runs on siphon, so what we need to do is take the siphon arm, put it completely underwater until there's no bubbles, cap it with our hand, lift it up, still capped, put it into the clarifier, and then remove after the cap end is beneath the water. Then that way we can start the siphon. You should see some water that comes in between here, and then some hopefully more fish poop that come in and flood into the clarifier. Close up your net, making sure that there's no spaces for fish to jump out. They're sneaky little things. The next thing that you'll have to do is make sure to refill up the five gallon pail as well as the watering jug with some water. That way it provides 24 hours at least uh, to decorate and um, get ready for the next time we have to clean this. 
to work the hose that we've got here. You're not going to turn on and off this. Uh, leave that EMN set already so that a float valve can automatically top off the water. To get water, we're going to use the um, we're going to use the little trigger on the far right side here. Uh, so two from the right, and you're going to open that up to get water for there. So you see, got my hose. Second from the right. And there we go. And that's all.